more people are traveling with their pets since the pandemic and airlines are reporting an uptick in pets booked to travel over the holiday season. Joining us now is new Barker Magazine contributor and dog mom Anastasia Turchetta to share tips to have a stress-free travel season with your fur babies. Hey Anastasia, it's always great to see you. Hey Gail, thank you for having me. This is fun. Yeah, it is fun. You know, I actually started traveling with my dog mm -hmm. during the pandemic because I was nervous and just, you know, I'm sitting with her under the seat with my mask on, it just made me feel better. So what are some tips to make it a little, you know, less stressful on folks? You're absolutely right. And I guess the more that we travel with our dogs, it's like us with our own luggage and packing. Mm -hmm. But the first thing I would say, safety, health, and happiness for your pet. So let's talk about safety. I guess for the first thing is vaccination records mm -hmm. and medication. So vaccination records, easy. Just have your veterinarian email you. You can download them. They're on your phone. You're good to go. You likely won't ever need them, but if you do, they're there. Medications, that could be from anything. Some pets get stressed out. Mm -hmm. So they may need anti-anxiety medications. Know your dog or what they're susceptible to. So for example, Gibbs are Husky. We pack ear wipes because he's more susceptible to ear infections or maybe hot spots, and we pack medication that tailors to that. So that would be the first tip. The second one is look at the dog's ID that you currently have. Is it worn? Does is your address the same? Is your phone number the same? Um, you know, you want to make sure that the information that's on it is accurate and legible in case your dog happens to get out. You know, when you're at your destination, so you want to make sure it's durable. You can always add features like aesthetics where you have the bling or some are you know, waterproof. It just depends to even go smart tech, almost like find my phone, mm -hmm. that type of stuff, Bluetooth technology and digital. But the, the message here is, is if your dog gets out, when you have a dog ID, it shows people that your pet is not astray and it's just lost its humans yeah, for a yeah, little bit. Yeah, that's good to know. I had to get, mine would always chew off her little dog ID, so I had to get one of those ones that goes into the collar. Yeah, the and slide that, on. Yeah, that, that was really helpful. Now, you're not a fan of retractable leashes when uh, you travel with your pet. I am not a fan. You know what? They're dangerous. They're dangerous for humans and for your pet. So we've got an example here. It's our Husky Gibbs, and that <laughs> he's on a standard six-foot leash. So I say invest in a standard six foot leash. I have control over my dog. We've got, I mean, that's in St. Petersburg, but as you can tell, I mean, you've got skateboarders and strollers and scooters. Okay. I have no control over him here. So I could drop the leash. He could go into traffic. Yep. He could be you know, involved with another dog, which is absolutely terrifying. Somebody can trip over that. And Gail, it's the holidays. Nobody needs to be tripping anyway over the holidays. Yeah, that is true, without a doubt. Follow. Yeah, and, and I made the mistake of taking a retractable leash to Bosch and, and I kept like, you know, getting away from me and she's in the crowds of people and it was, it was hectic to say the least. So that's a really good tip. How do we keep our pets healthy while traveling? That's a great question. And you know, when you're traveling, especially in a car it's important to stay hydrated I mean I know it is, it is when we fly but if we're traveling more and more people are likely in their cars staying hydrated packing healthy snacks is really important so here you'll see Gibbs has his water bottle <laughs> beside him and I love this because it's got the bowl and I can squeeze the water up into it and Aww. I mean I'm, you know he's able to take a drink or I can place a healthy treat and I don't have to you know pull over there for him to eat. I also pack a Ziploc bag of his kibble and mm -hmm. I can place it in that also because you never know. Sometimes, you know, as structured as they are, sometimes in a car it throws them off too whether they want to eat. So pack a lot of water, which in Florida, it's really important. Absolutely. Pack healthy treats so along with you, just it, it mirrors exactly what you do. Okay, we have just under a minute left, but uh, maybe bring a toy, a chewy, something to keep them occupied while you travel. A favorite toy is always great and the thing I say about know your destination visit a travel a pet travel site this way you can go when you get to your destination what if you want to find a coffee shop a restaurant a dog park because I got to tell you you may not be the only person who wants to escape mm -hmm. the holiday chaos yeah absolutely and Anastasia on one last note I just wanted to let you know that Marble's agent has called and uh, she <laughs> would like to be included in some of the video of future segments with you so no problem <laughs> happy to do that and I'm the agent by the way <laughs> <laughs> All right, for more information, you can visit GibbsTheHusky.com. And we'll be back with more Bloom right after this. Great tips, though. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you for having me on. Absolutely.